I'm Jonas from Scenewood, and we are here at Gamescom 2022. I'm talking to Alberto, uh, and you have an interesting VR game that you, virtual reality game that you are bringing out for the Oculus Quest or Meta Quest, I think it's called now. Uh, I already got it. To, I got to play it earlier this morning, but I think you should introduce the general public to your game. Yeah, it's uh, our third title. We started with uh, Tokyo Chronos and Aldeus. They were visual novels on VR. Quite the first ones, uh, but this time we created like a three episode uh, adventure game. It's called Discronia Chronos Alternate. So it's a VR sci fi adventure with a, an investigation about a murder. You are in a futuristic setting. You have to investigate a murder. You have a superpower called Memory Dive. So you can go back to the past, investigate, get some information, manipulate the past so you can change the present and get the truth about it around everything. Okay, so in in the trial level, I, I, I had earlier you had to solve a little puzzle or multiple little puzzles. One of them uh, was a chess game. Do you want to go more in depth on the chess puzzle? I think it's early in the game, so we're not spoiling too much if we talk about the chess okay. puzzle. Okay, perfect. So we can, but it's in, in the beginning of the game, so we're not spoiling too much. Yeah, it's in the beginning. Oh. Yeah. Okay, then we'll just talk about the chess puzzle here. Um, you were in a room where you had to collect chess figures and collecting them, putting them on a board, revealed a hidden hologram, which showed you how to place them on another board, which revealed a collectible. Would you like to talk about the design of this puzzle? Yeah, actually that part uh, in the actual game, the demo is kind of shorter, but it has like a three, four puzzle, a little bit more complicated. And that was one that we really, really loved because of the visuals. When the room became dark and you can get all the hints written on the walls. It's a lovely, lovely puzzle. So you have to solve where to put the pieces, just looking at the walls. It's really, really immersive. Okay, thank you. Um, there also was a dream world that you could change into the game. Uh, I think you can only change it in public areas. Uh, yeah, uh, that's called, uh, in the game, it's called augmented dreaming, like an augmented reality. We have augmented dreaming. So the investi investigation takes part in two places. You have the real world and you also have like a dreams, the augmented dreaming. So each area has two options so that where you can investigate the dream world and the real world so you're investigating in three different areas like in the real world in the past and in the dream world exactly 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 yeah okay sounds very cool um i've also already met i think she's an assistant of yours that you can meet in the dream world and talk to like there, there's a girl in the dream world i actually forgot her name i'm sorry about that but i talked to her in the dream world that's what i remember yeah you have like a, a friend uh, when you were young uh, called Maya. She, when you got your powers, uh, she got, you fall asleep, like, a, you know, like a, she can't uh, wake up, but he can just talk with other people in dreams. It's a little bit complicated, so I will not want to spoil it. So the game goes around dreams, people living in dreams, in reality, secrets in the past, secrets in the future. Okay. Uh, Speaking of the generous set, uh, setting of the game, I think your colleagues told me that uh, it's in a world where there is no crime anymore because uh, the dreams are monitored and that's used to predict whether people might commit crimes and prevent those crimes from happening in the first place. And then that murder happens and you're placed into the investigation case on the murder. Yeah, something like that. It's actually, uh, they, there's like a AI, a Sahana in the whole f city. Uh, managing the dreams the, the population is watching so they can just avoid having any kind of stress so you have a for example you have a really bad day you go to your dreams and you have like a dream made for you and you have like a special agent just talking with you so you don't have a stress so you don't commit crimes you are just relaxed when i first got placed into the dream world it was already colorful there were i think it was birds or fish flying fishes. In the, it was fishes. Yeah. yeah it was fishes flying in the sky uh, in all different colors, I think I saw red, green, and blue. Yeah, it's blueish. The the the, uh, the faces are several colors. It's, uh, you have yellow, red, and several kind of color. Yeah. Yeah. So the color aspect of the dream world is really, let's call it, uh, spaced out. It's uh, it's special. Like you all instantly notice that there's something different in there compared to reality, which looks more like realistic, futuristic colors, and yeah, there, there also are some retro elements like the chessboard we talked about earlier in some of the investigation cases. 
and I really, really liked the style of the puzzles. They felt natural and yeah, we can go more in depth on the controls. Like you can pick up stuff, you can place it in the inventory, you can interact with a lot of things in the world. Would you like to go into a bit of detail there? Yeah, absolutely. So it's an adventure game. So you have like a like your inventory, you interact with items, you take the items and then use it, use them in other places and you can use them for all the puzzles. But you also have like a stealth part of the game where you have to hide, distract your enemy. So you can use your surroundings, uh, just picking objects, uh, throwing them away to distract the enemy. So it's uh, we wanted to make the game as interactive as possible. The game will be released uh, for the Oculus uh, Quest, uh, so it's going to be on the only on the Oculus Store. Uh, do you have a release date planned yet? Yeah, it's gonna be uh, the episode one. It's gonna be out on September twenty second, and then we plan to release the episode two and three after, let's say, like a two three month after that. So it's like a three act story. Like you have the beginning of the story, the introduction story in episode one. Then you have like a axiom, full axiom where everything is happening, people is dying, what's happening on the episode two, and then you have the conclusion of episode three. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And good luck uh, with the release of the game then. And uh, hopefully we'll see you around next year with another VR game because I really enjoyed playing it or in two years or whenever you get to do another one. We are already starting to create, develop a new game. It's going to be multiplayer. We are just working around the prototype and everything. So it's really, really early. But yeah, we are going to be back at the game next year for sure. Thank you very much again, and I'll see you.